Good evening, Pio Nation. I hope you're doing well tonight. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Merritt Ecology Esports. So tonight we have our Rocket League team as they play against Faulkner University as part of the Nay Star League Fall Competition. We're getting everything set up. So we're going to take a look at who's going to be playing in tonight's match. So we have here, uh, in some particular order, we have senior Austin Offenberger Ozio. We have freshman Justin Shanklin Shank. And we have freshman Sergey Wall, that guy Sergey. And we have our coaches, head coach Derek Games and our Rocket League coach, Jeff Thomas. Uh, so the Pioneers are going to be set up here. Uh, last week, they had a, a difficult matchup against Simpson College. Uh, got a little close at times, but uh, kind of unfortunately fell in that matchup. But we are going to see how the Pioneers do against Faulkner today. While we are waiting to get things set up, we'll go over a few announcements. So first of all, shout out to HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor for Marietta College Esports. So whether it's keyboards, mice, headset, mouse pads, microphones, they pro uh, provide our facility with the uh, those peripherals. They are amazing. Our students love them. So if you would like to get your own HyperX gear, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES. The QR code for that is up on your screen. We also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. So this week they're going to have a couple of Marietta College evenings at their restaurant on Front Street. So Tuesday, uh, they're going to be having some stuff with their Switch. I believe if you're a Marietta College student, you have your ID, you get like a dollar a slice. Don't quote me on it, but I believe that is the case. But uh, they'll have that up and they'll also be airing a couple of our matches that'll be taking place tomorrow. They will also be doing this on Thursday uh, as well. So they'll have the switch up. They'll be airing our matches. So definitely go over, have some fun, get some pizza, and also be sure to cheer on uh, the Pioneers. Let's take a look at the schedule for the coming week. So we have quite a few things uh, coming at you. So, of course, we have our Rocket League match that's going to be happening very soon. But tomorrow, we have two different matches. We have our League of Legends team going up against Manchester University at 6. And then our Overwatch 2 team will be playing against Oakland at 7. I don't know if we'll be able to stream both of the matches. We'll definitely get the League of Legends match up. Um, but for the Overwatch match, we may not be able to uh, air that right away. Uh, on Wednesday, our Valorant team will be playing against Cornell College at 7. On Thursday, we have two different matches. Our Overwatch 2 team will be playing against Highland Community College at 7. Our Rainbow Six team will also be playing, um, but they'll be playing against St. Clair College at 7 o'clock. So I think what we'll do is we'll stream the Overwatch match and then what's remaining of the uh, Rainbow Six match. On Friday, our Rainbow Six team will be playing against Georgia Tech at 8.30. So you definitely want to check out that match. And then on Saturday, we have three different things going on for you. Our Valorant team will be playing against Mountain Union at noon. And then our League of Legends team will be playing against Mountain Union at 3. And then our Fortnite team will, act, will be continuing their run in the Nace Star League split to no build competition. So they'll be Saturday at 3. And then Sunday, October 30th at 3 as well. But all right. Uh, I am going to check the lobby here. So I don't... Let me see here. I'm going to pull up the match setup here uh, to make sure that everything is good. I think they're trying to get the, the hosting uh, all set up here. So I'm just waiting for everything here. So I'm looking at... Yeah, it looks like both teams are ready. They're just getting the lobby set up to... Uh, start the match. Yeah, so once we have that underway, we will get things going. So while we're waiting, we'll just go over a few other... Uh, well, actually, you know what? Now they're getting into the lobby. I was going to go over some more announcements, but it seems like we're going to be starting very soon here. So I'm going to make sure I have everything on my end uh, ready to go, making sure that we don't have any issues... Uh, with the game. I think last time we were having a couple issues with capturing the games. Okay, that looks good So now we're just waiting for everyone to choose their sides But as soon as we have that we will get this best of five Series going. That's right. It is gonna be a best of five 
and we'll see how the Pioneers do against Faulkner University. I think everyone is getting added. So we should be starting any second. And here we go, folks. Marietta College versus Faulkner University. Marietta will be the blue team here. Ozio gets the first tip. And we're seeing the goal is going to be exposed for Marietta. And that guy search kind of goes for it, but it is saved by Cameron. So now we're seeing Cameron take the ball down the left side, trying to set up the play for Faulkner. And going to go for the shot, but Ozio will tip it away. Just goes high in the air, and Lane is going to go for the shot and does make the goal. So Faulkner will strike first. Just a great tip there. Serge and Shank were there to try to defend, but just were not successful. It's now four minutes, 37 seconds left in this first game. And it's kind of a tie on the tip off, but Lane is going to take the ball down to Marietta's side of the goal. That guy, Serge, is going to tip it away. The big brain, Brand, was well, going to fight for it, but that guy surges over there and doesn't quite connect with the ball. So now they're going for a goal, but Ozio is there with the save. And now Shank's going to take it down to Faulkner's side of the field. Going for the rebound, but no follow-up from the Pioneers. But we're going to see Big Brain Brand getting demoed. Now Sergei is going to set the play, but Land is there to defend. But Ozio will keep the pressure onto Faulkner's side of the field. Shank tries to take away from Cameron, but does get juked. But Ozio is there, going to pass it over to Serge. But Big Brain Brand is there for the block. Down the ball, so Mary to side of the field. Ozio tips it into the air. And Land's going to center it up for Cameron, but doesn't get the shot needed. Shank's actually there with the save. So now Faulkner will set up, and Ozio will shoot it down towards center, but Land is there to knock the ball back. Going to bounce it off to the side, but Serge is there for the block. Cameron's going to try to center up the play. But no fall of Ozio is actually there to defend. Brand's going to be taking the ball down, but pass it over to Land. Shank's going to knock it just a little bit into the air. But Brand will fight for control over it, but Serge is there to knock it away. Passes it over to Land, but Ozio is there to, to, to tip it. And Ozio will juke it away, but Land will take the ball back. Gets centered up, and Cam is going to go for a shot, but Brand is there to also help deflect. Land tries to go for the tip shot, but doesn't quite get it. Brand's going to pass it over to Land. will go for the shot, but Surge is there for the block. Brand will try to set it up again, but Ozio will tip the ball into the air. Two minutes and 40 seconds remains in this first game. Land is going to knock it over to the other side. Surge tries to go for it, but doesn't quite connect. Land centers up the play. But Surge and Shank are there to try to defend. Brand centers up for Cameron, but doesn't get the angle he needs. Brand goes for the shot, but Shank is going to knock it away and tries to center up, but no follow through. Cameron was there for the save, but Surge is going to try to knock in the air. Ozio goes for the shot, but Land's going to knock it away. And with the goal exposed, Cameron is able to knock it in. So we're going to see Shank tries to make it back, but it's just a little too late. And now Faulkner is up 2-0. Two, two minutes, 8 seconds remain in the first game. Sergio Brand fight for the control of the ball in the beginning, but it gets centered up. Ozio going to go for the shot, but it's going to be saved with a double commit. Cameron's going to take it down and get away from Shank, but Serge is going to knock it back towards the goal, but not going to get the angle he needs. Shank is there to fight for control. Ozio goes for the play, but doesn't get it. Cameron tips it over, but Shank is going to knock it a little bit into the air. So see Faulkner's trying to set the play. Serge is going to knock it towards the center. Cameron does hit it to the side. A minute 30 remains in this game. Pioneers are down by two. Ozio is going to have a nice save there. Gets it away from Land. Ozio is going to try to set up the play. Bounces off the crossbar. Surge goes for the goal, but doesn't get the angle he needs. And Ozio is going to get demoed in the process. Now Cameron's using that full boost. Gets bumped in the process, but passes over to Big Brain Brand and does make the goal. We see a good pass from Cameron, and Brand was there to tip it in. 
and now Faulkner is up three to zero. So it's going to be an uphill bound for the Bioneers to take this first game. To see Surgeon Ozio are going to try to take control of the ball. Ozio not having enough boost to follow through. The camera will knock away and another exposed goal. And Faulkner is going to expand that lead. But you have to be able to watch the goal at all times. And Surge try to go in for the, the defend, but it's just not going to be there in time. You can't have exposed goals like that. So now one minute remains. Pioneers are down by four. Ball gets away from Shank. Passes over to Brand. I'm going to pass. Actually, it wasn't Brand. It was someone, but it eventually got past the Brand. But Shank's going to try to take control of the ball. Land is going to set up the play. For Cameron, not going to get the shot in. I see Brand's going to go for the shot. Hits the crossbar. Cameron was going to go with a follow-up. Doesn't quite get it. Now 30 seconds remain. Ozzy is there with the save. Going to try to use the boost to go for the shot, but Cameron is going to deflect it. And Land's going to bump it away from Ozzy. Now down to 20 seconds. Land goes for the shot, but doesn't quite get it. Brand's going to take control of the ball to set up the play for Faulkner. Loses control. That guy, Surge, is going to knock away. Ten seconds remain. And with just a few seconds left, Faulkner is going to take this first game. Marion is going to try to go for a goal, but not going to be able to get what they need. And in a very strong performance for this first game, Faulkner will take the first game here. That was... All right, I don't know why the mic seems to mute itself when we swap over. That doesn't happen with the other titles, so I'm going to see what's going on with there. I was going to say with game one that a lot of it was just exposed goals. I think two of the goals from Falker were because of not being able to defend in time, but we are in game two already. So we are going to see how the uh, Pioneers respond to that. See the ball is dangerously close to Mirror's goal. Surge is going to try to knock it away. But doesn't really have much boost to follow through with it. Land gaining a full boost to try to block. Surge is going to tip it away. Brand's trying to set up a, a center play, but no follow-up from Faulkner. Okay, so Cameron is going to try to set up the play. Goes straight towards the goal. Doesn't get the shot that they need. And Ozzy is going to be able to tip it away. But Cameron is going to go for another shot. Surge there with the block. So now Ozzy is going to go straight for the goal. Brain is there to defend. And Land will knock it away. But Shank's going to tip in the air. Ozzy will try to rebound it. But once again, not much follow-up for... For Marietta and Land's gonna go for the, the goal, but Surge is there to defend. Ozzy is gonna get demoed by Land. Now Shank's gonna fall back. Ozzy is gonna tip it, keep the pressure onto Faulkner's side, but Land is there to defend. And the ball is going to head straight to Mary's goal. And Faulkner will be able to score Cameron with making that goal. See, Shank's going to go for the goal. It is exposed, but Cameron is going to be able to knock it away. Two minutes and 45 seconds remain in game two. Faulkner's up by one goal in one game. 
See, Karen is going to go for the shot, but Ozio is there with the save. Now, Land's going to try to set up the play for Faulkner, but not going to be able to connect. Cameron's going to tip it over to the left side, bounces off. <coughs> Excuse me. And we see Land's going to try to set up again. But right now, Faulkner's just trying to bounce the ball in the air so they can get the rebound. But Surge is going to knock it away, but Land is there to defend. So now Land's going to try to go straight for the goal. And, and Ozzy missed, but Shank was there to knock it away from him. Now we see Ozzy is going to knock it away, but Brand is there to tip. Minute 45 remains. Shank's going to get the save. Land's going to try to set up the play for Cameron to go for the shot. But all three of the Pioneers were there to defend this time. Now Brand's going to go on the offensive. Tries to get the rebound shot, but just a little too high. Cameron's going to take a run at it using his boost. But Surge will knock it away. Minute 25 remains in the game. And we've seen the ball going all over the place. Land, once again, trying to set it up for Cameron. Doesn't get the lineup. Land will center it again. Surge will tip it a little bit in the air. Shank's going to knock it away. And gets demoed by Shank. Both Brand and Land were there to defend. One minute remains. Brand's going to go for the shot, but Ozzy is there for the block. And Cameron with the rebound, and Faulkner is now up by two. So less than a minute goes. Marietta needs two goals to be able to score. Ozzy is going to get a demo onto Land. Ball tips high. Surge is going to go for the goal, but Land is there first and knocks it away. Shank's going to try to set up the play, but it does get tipped away. But that guy, Surge, is going to there. Ozzy is going to go for the shot, and it's just off by the corner, which is unfortunate. Now 30 seconds remain. Ball's now on Marion's side of the field. Shanks is going to lose control of the ball, but Surge is going to knock it over the air, passes over to the Shank, but gets, gets knocked into the air. And we're going to see Brandon Ozio going to fight for control of the ball. Surge and Land are going to now fight for it. Less than 10 seconds remain in this game. And Cameron's going to make another goal. And that is going to basically secure game two for Faulkner. And with the clock ticking down, Barrett is going to try to go for a play, but Faulkner just wants to end that. And another strong performance. Marion is struggling to make any goals uh, for the matchup. So with that, Faulkner is going to take the lead. It is going to be match points uh, from them. But Marion is just struggling to, to make any goals. We saw in the last game, Ozio went for two shots, but not able to get anything. Shank went for a shot. Compared to Faulkner, Cameron was six shots and three of them being goals. And Big Brain Brand uh, going for four shots, but not making any goals. So we're just seeing that Faulkner is just able to play a more uh, aggressive style uh, with the uh, the matchups. So now we're just waiting for everyone to get ready. I, mean, I clicked right. I think they're waiting. For someone that was added to the lobby at the last second. I don't think they hit ready. So we're just going to wait for... That to set up. I'm gonna double check the lobby chat. There's anything there? Not gonna see anything with that. But we're now getting into the third game. It is going to be a match point for Faulkner. So we'll see if the Pioneers uh, can respond. As soon as we get into the game, we'll we'll get that to you.
So here we go, folks. It is match point for Faulkner University. Can the Pioneers make try to stay alive in this matchup? They have been struggling to make any goals. And if Cameron has anything to say about it, he's going to try to make sure that Mariana is not going to get onto the board. But now we see the ball is heading towards Marietta's side uh, of the field. Cameron trying to go for the shot, doesn't quite connect. Shank is there, but Brand is going to try to go for the goal, but uh, Surge is there with the block. Now Ozzy is going to tip it away. Land's going to go in reverse and try to contest the ball. The camera is going to get credit for the save. Takes the ball away from Shank. Ozzy is going to go for the save and does bounce the ball in the air, but Land's going to go for the shot. Ozzy tips it in the air. Cameron's going to try to center up, but Shank's going to knock it away. Surge is going to pass towards the center, and Oz is going to make the shot, or try to go for the shot, but Land does get it away from him in the nick of time. Brand's going to bounce off to the side, and Surge is going to kind of take the ball over towards the side, but Cameron's going to center it up again, passing it to Land. Then we're going to see Shank's going to go for the shot, fights with Brand for control of the ball, but Cameron's going to knock it over to the other corner, out of boost, so Ozzy is going to try to center it, but Land is there to knock it away. Surge ships the ball in the air. Brand goes for the shot, but doesn't quite connect. So now Surge is going to try to use this opportunity to set it up. But Land is there to defend. Ozio docks it to the courts, the corner. But now Brand's going to take the ball over, but Shank is going to take it away. Land goes for the shot. It's just a little bit high on the crossbar. Three minutes for Maine in this game. Pioneers need to win this to stay in the series. Brand's going to try to pass it, but Ozzy is going to knock it over to the other side. Cameron is going to go for the shot, tips it down. And that was a very dangerous shot there, but Pioneers are okay. Shank's going to tip in the air, though the goal exposed. Shank will get the score for the Pioneers. So a great tip there by Shank. Goes over Big Brain Brand, and it goes right into the goal. The Pioneers are up by one. Two minutes, 40 seconds left. They need to win this to stay in this series. The ball will head towards Faulkner's side of the field. Shank tries to go, tries to fight for it, but doesn't get it. But Surge is going to try to tip it in himself. But doesn't get the boost he needs. Lane's going to take the ball over and demo Shank in the process. Surge is going to be able to tip it over to the other side, but Cameron is going to take the ball back onto Marion's side of the field. Ozzy goes, tries to go for the defense, doesn't get quite the connect. Ball gets passed over to Brand. Ball still high in the air. Land's going to go for the corner shot, but it is deflected by Marietta. So now Ozzy is going to try to tip it over and jukes it away. Cameron's going to take control, and Surge gets bumped in the process. Cameron's going to go for the shot. Ozio is there to defend, and so is Shank. Brand's going to try to set up the play for Land, but Surge is there to knock it away from him. Cameron's going to try to set her up, but fights with Shank to set up the play. But Cam Land is going to go for the shot, and they do get it. See a great pass to land. Ozio tries to defend, but just not going to be able to get the uh, the block. So now it's one apiece. A minute 38 remains in this game. It's a minor. It is match point for Faulkner. And they're trying to set the place. Surge goes for the shot, but doesn't get the angle he needs. Brand's going to knock it down and passes it over to Cameron. Ozio with a great save, but land is going to be there to keep the pressure on the Pioneers. And Surge is going to tip it away. Cameron does resume control of the ball. And then loses control. Ozio going to go for the play, but Land's going to bump the ball in the process. Ozio goes for the shot, doesn't quite get it. So now Cameron's going to take the ball down to the side of the field. Ozio is going to bump it. Less than a minute remains. It's time one apiece. Next goal will most likely win the game. Land tries to go for the game win, but gets deflected. 
Brand's going to try to resume control, but loses it. Surge is going to take the ball down to the side. Gets bumped in the process. Now Land's going to pass it over to Cameron, but going to go for the shot himself. But Ozio does tip it away. And Ozio's going to keep the ball down, trying to get it away from Cameron. But Cameron's going to resume control. 30 seconds remains. Goes for the shot. Goal exposed, but it's just a little bit to the left or to the right. Thank goodness for the Pioneers. 20 seconds remain. Marion is going to tr needs to try to get a score in. So now Shanks going to deflect it away. They're now the 10 seconds remaining. Brand's going to try to center up the ball. Ozio tips it away. Three seconds to go. Surge is going to try to go for the shot. Doesn't get it. So now we're in overtime. If Marietta takes this, we'll go to map four. If Faulkner gets it, it will be game set and match. Can the Pioneers get one more goal? Brand's going to try to set the play. Shank is there to defend. Land centers it up, but Ozio is going to knock away. Cameron is there to intercept. So now he's going to take the ball over to Marietta's goal. Set to the play, but Serge and Shank are there to knock it away. Land goes for the shot, misses. We're going to try again. Still doesn't quite connect. Ozzy is going to fight with Cameron for the ball. Cameron's going to try to take it over, but Ozzy knocks it away. Land is going to be there to tip it towards Marion's goal. Hits the crossbar. Or actually, Shank is going to hit it. Aaron was there for the rebound. Actually, he missed the rebound. My mistake. Cameron goes for a shot. Doesn't quite connect. Ozzy is going to fight for the ball. Heads over towards Marion's goal. But it's just going to be a little wide to the left. And Shank's going to fight for the Ozio goes for the shot, and Marietta will take the goal and the game. The brain knocks it down. Shank's going to top it over, and Ozio is there. So the Pioneers will take game three. They were down, but they are not out. So Marietta will take that game. It is not over yet. Had to get into overtime to make that happen, but they did take the game. So it is still match point for Faulkner, but we're starting to see that momentum getting into the Pioneers' favor. So now we're just waiting uh, for everyone to be ready. So then that way we can get into game four. Now we're just going to wait for everyone to get uh, ready here but yeah i think we're just have to wait for the uh, the countdown to to finish here but then we'll get into uh, uh this game there but but Marietta did much better on defense that time because uh faulkner was able to exploit the the fact that Marietta had several exposed goals in the first two games but they definitely tightened up their defenses uh which allowed them to be able to take uh that game but, all right, we should be getting things underway for game four very soon. Just waiting for everyone to get started. And here we go, folks. This is going to be game four. And we're going to see balls onto Marietta's side. But Brand is going to knock it away from Surge. But Shank is there to intercept. Surge is going to try to center up. But... Not really going to be any follow up. Cameron is going to be there for the, the defend, but Surge is going to keep the pressure onto Faulkner's side of the field. But now Land's going to take it down to Mary's side. Shank's going to be there to tip it away. Gets it away from Brand and fights Cameron for control, but Cameron will win that fight. So now Cameron's going to set the play for Brand, but Surge is there for the to, to knock it away, of course. Now Oz is going to try to take over and demos land, but land still gets the ball in despite the fact he got demoed. So we see there, he just getting blocked, but Marietta had the goal exposed, and now Faulkner is up by one. Four minutes and 20 seconds remain uh, in that game. It is match point for Faulkner, so Marietta needs to win this to be able to go to game five. We're going to see Brand's going to try to set the play, but Ozio will knock it away. Ball heads towards Faulkner's side of the field. Cameron is going to 
bounce it over away, but Shank is going to be there to keep that pressure passing the Ozio, but Lane is there to disrupt. Surge is going to take the ball in the air, but Ozio will flip the ball over and gets it away from Cameron, but Lane is there to, to defend. Now Brand's going to try to take his stab at going for the goal, bounces it in the air, passes it to Lane, but it's still going to be bouncing in the air. Cameron's goes for the shot. Surge is there with the save, but Brand's going to rebound. And we see Lane's going to go for the shot, but Ozio there with a great save. So I see Cameron and Shane going to fight for the ball, but Faulkner is continuing their offensive strategy of just keep going for shots, rebounding, passing it towards the back. But we see there Shank was able to defend, but Brand was there for the rebound and gets the goal. See, Lance goes for the shot. He gets tipped, but Brand is right there to be able to knock it in. So now Faulkner is up by two. So we're going to see Shank tries to go for the shot, but misses. Ozzy is going to try to set up the, the ball for a search for the goal, but Lane is going to be in the defense. Three minutes remain, and Cameron's going to make a goal because Marietta left the goal exposed once again. I mean, when it's match point, you cannot make these kinds of mistakes. And Faulkner's going to be able to capitalize on them. So we see Lance going to try to take control of the ball, but Surge is there to fight. But Shank's going to demo Brand uh, during that little skirmish. Lance going to try to set up the play for Cameron, and Cameron's going to make another goal. And this is getting a little out of hand. So we see the double commit by the Pioneers and gives the opportunity for Cameron to go in and make the shot. So now Faulkner is up four to zero. And we're seeing that momentum swinging in Faulkner's favor. Ozzy loses control of the ball. And Cameron is going to take get it away from Shank. Shank tries to go in reverse to see if he can fight for control of the ball. Does get tipped. But now Ozzy is going to try to set up the play. But Lan is there to defend. And another goal by Lan. We got to take a look at what happened there. So it just seemed like Lane was able to tip it. It got bounced back and just goes straight into the goal. Faulkner's going to be leading 5-0. to zero. Two minutes and 27 seconds remain in the game. Oz is going to fight for control of the ball, but Lane is going to be there to knock it away. Surge tips it in the air. Lane's going to try to set the play. Shank's going to defend. Brand goes for the shot. Doesn't quite get it. Cameron's going to free there for the rebound. But Ozzy is going to knock it away, but Lane is there to defend. Now Shank tips in the air, but Surge will knock her side, but Cameron is there to keep the pressure on. Two minutes remains in this game. Goes for the shot. Ozzy saves, and Shank will uh, demo Brand. Lane goes for another shot, but doesn't quite get it. Shank's going to knock it towards the center, but Brand is there to defend and gets credit for a save. But now we see the ball gets tipped. Surge is going to knock it away. Land centers up the ball and Shank will fight for it. Tries to go for the goal. Doesn't quite connect, but Ozio is going to try to make the play, but just a little bit to the right. Cameron now fights for control of the ball. Minute 25 remains. Ozio will knock it away. He's going to try to set the play, but Cameron is there for the block. Goes all the way down to Marietta's side of the field. Now Shank's going to be trying to go for the shot. Gets a little bit by Lamb, but able to tip it just enough to keep it away from the goal. One minute remains. Marion is down by five. And just another exposed goal. And that is most likely going to be the nail in the coffin for the Pioneers. So I mean, when you triple commit like that, you are opening yourselves up to those possibilities. Now, Ozzy is going to go for the tip, and but gets demoed afterwards. Shank's going to try to set the play, but Brand is there to knock it away. And Shank's going to go for another demo, 
Ozio does get control of the ball, but it's just going to be a little bit to the right going for the shot. Serge is going to try to set the play, but Cameron will tip it away. Ozio is going to be there to keep pressure. 30 seconds remains. And I don't see how the Pioneers are going to be able to get six goals in 22 seconds. Ozio is going to go for the shot. Does score! Rand does try to knock it away. Ozio does tip it in. And there is a demo in the process. Lance tries to defend. So now it's one to six. Marietta still needs five goals in 18 seconds. I've seen some strange things. So the game is not over until that clock hits zero. But Cameron's going to try to make sure that Marietta does not have any more opportunities to score. And Lance's going to try to go for another goal. Shank is there to defend. But with an exposed goal, Grant goes for one more shot, doesn't get it. And that is going to be it. Faulkner will take game four, six to one. And that is going to be it. I don't know why the, the settings is muting. It doesn't happen with the other streams. And for some reason, it's just Rocket League that mutes the mic. But um, that is going to be it for today. I mean, uh, kudos to Faulkner for playing uh, very well. Uh, the, I think a lot of it for the Pioneers was just a lot of goals exposed. Uh, so uh, Faulkner University was able to capitalize on those. But that is going to be it for us today. We do thank you for watching. We do have a lot of esports coming at you this week. So tomorrow, our League of Legends team and our Overwatch team will be playing. So please be sure to come back for that. But we have something going on every single day of the week. So it's a very exciting time for Marietta Esports. So for all the latest updates, please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, TikTok. Uh, Shoutouts again to HyperX and Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Thank you all for the follows and the subscribe.